This was me when I was 16, eight kilograms heavier, going through a Korean phase. I wanted straight eyebrows that looked really bad on me. I wore too much makeup and then gradually I started to learn what worked for my face. I matured, I lost face fat. So don't worry, there's a glow up waiting for everyone. Hello, ladies and genitals. Today I'm going to show you how to get hot. Even though this is a video mainly for my ladies, it is still applicable to the gentlemen out there. So I have made a lot of videos on like how to glow up. <laughs> And you know me, you? I mainly focus on the mental aspect, but today I wanted to show you how to actually physically glow up and give you my secrets. Number one, you guys, don't roll your eyes. You need to sleep more. When I was younger, I did not have the eye creases I currently have. My eye creases were very, very, very hooded. And I found throughout my high school life when I was not sleeping a lot, my eyes would literally have no creases. And then when I got out of uni and I started to sleep a lot more, suddenly my eyes were lifted. And then when you sleep more, you will also have a more healthy skin tone. Because I found in high school as well, I had a very, very gray tone to my skin. And it was because I was not sleeping at all. And then the moment I started to sleep more and I adopted a very healthy sleeping pattern where I would get a minimum of eight hours per day, I looked more alive. My eyes looked alive, my skin looked alive, I looked healthier. So number one, eight hours per night, darling. These tips are things that shouldn't really cost a lot of money and they're small things which, which will really elevate your appearance because honestly, in my opinion, there's only so much that surgery or filler or like your natural genetic advantage can do. For example, you can be like a gorgeous supermodel. Meanwhile, you don't take care of yourself. For example, you have really yellow teeth. You don't like take care of your teeth or your skin. And then that's going to take away points from you and you're going to look less healthy and glowy, radiant, etc. Facial yoga. Some people really don't believe in facial yoga, but I think it makes a huge difference. There's a girl on TikTok I follow and I'll leave her name here, but she has such good videos and the people who follow her notice incredible changes. If you like press on certain points of your face, for example, get your knuckles, press right here, you will feel it is so painful. That's how tight your muscles are. So, you know, when you're working out and you have tight muscles, you release it. You do like myofascia releases or you stretch, for example. Same with your face. You need to like release the tension in your face and around your eyes, your jaw. Three, use the eyelash serum. It makes such a big difference. Okay, my eyelashes are very long, but they used to be longer when I used a serum that I don't actually want to shout out just because it stopped working after like three months, but it made my eyelashes look insane. It just made me have more like a catty appearance. My actual go-to serum that I've been using since I was 14 is the Etude House Serum and it's only like $5. Link in bio, but yes, I've been using this my whole life and I use it on my eyebrows. Whenever I use it, everything, my hair just grows incredibly quickly. I use it to keep them long and strong. Start to meditate. Now, meditation does have like, you know, your internal effects, but this is gonna benefit your outer appearance. So, studies have shown that meditation actually slows down your aging. It lengthens your telomeres and your telomeres are directly correlated with your aging. So meditate. You need to practice mindfulness because if you're stressed out all the time, and by the way, we can be stressed and we won't even know. Example, when I travel, my body becomes stressed out. I actually start to get panic attack, which I never get when I'm home in Australia. But when I'm abroad, I get panic attacks all the time and your period comes late because your body is stressed out. So you may not actually feel the effects, like I feel fine and then it happens and I'm like, oh, well, my body doesn't feel fine. Additionally, when you like practice your mindfulness and you're less stressed out, you're going to hold a lot less tension in your face and you'll find your face will actually relax as well. That's why people who are often stressed out, they will clench their jaw. And then when you clench your jaw, it throws everything off in your face as well. Like you just hold tension everywhere. So you need to work on releasing that. You guys are gonna roll your eyes at this because I genuinely talk about it in every video. And whether or not I'm sponsored by BetterHelp, I talk about therapy. 
because even in my non-sponsored videos i talk about therapy if we're talking about mindfulness and and getting control of your mind right now and practicing relaxation your therapist can help you do that because i feel like especially if you're someone that maybe lacks self-awareness or you don't know your trauma you don't know yourself that well you don't know how to navigate your your mind a therapist can really, really help you with that. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service and it's 100% online. Help, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed therapists who can help you with pretty much any issue you need. To get started, all you need to do is answer a couple of questions about what's going on with you and your preferences, and BetterHelp will match you with your perfect therapist. The best part is, they have financial aid, and secondly, therapy is like dating, so if you don't like your therapist or you're not a good match, they will, free of charge, find you a new therapist. Also, you can talk to your therapist in a number of ways, have a phone call, a video call, you can chat with them over like Messenger whenever you want as well, which was the selling point for me, and you can do it at any time, that's convenient. With BetterHelp, you'll get the same professionalism and quality you expect from an in-person therapist, but you have a therapist that's custom-picked for you, you can change it at any time, there's more scheduling flexibility, and it's at a more affordable price. A lot of people said to me, Simone, I would love to do therapy, I can't afford it. BetterHelp has financial aid, guys, look into it. So get your first month of BetterHelp using my link right here and it's also in the description below. Therapy is good because if therapy helps you become happier, watch my Game of Life video, you're literally gonna look more attractive physically as well. Get a better wardrobe and what do I mean by this? <laughs> A lot of you may not be wearing clothes which are flattering for your body or colors which are not good for you. For example, if you have narrow hips, wear high-waisted pants. It will make your hips look broader and your waist look more snatched. Invest in quality pieces which will elevate your appearance. Spending money on clothes like a Shein, it makes you look cheap. And yes, I know a lot of people don't have money to spend on clothes. Then don't, to be honest, then don't. Um, you shouldn't be going and having a $300 shopping spree at Shein. Put that $300 towards a couple of really key pieces which will last you a long time. Again, go watch my Game of Life video to change your perspective on how the world works. Okay, mewing. If you don't know what mewing is, it's basically where you bring your tongue and you suction it to the roof of your mouth and it's meant to change your entire face, to be honest, like higher cheekbones, um, sharper jawline. It helps expand your palate. You can read more into it. Stop swearing. Yeah, I need to work on that one because I'm an Australian, but swearing actually makes people more unattractive. Fucking allegedly. Okay, get sunlight. Every morning, go in the sun, early morning light, no sunscreen. It will help you a lot. Promise you'll feel more energized, more glowing skin, wider eyes, less red eyes. You'll have more energy, you'll be more alive. Also, if you have red eyes, just get some eye drops. I don't know why I never knew about this, but I used to have a, like red eyes because I would go to bed so late from working. And then someone was like, you can get eye drops for this. And then I started to put eye drops in and my red eyes were gone and I just looked healthier. A lot of it comes down to looking healthy. Attractive people are more healthy. People who have symmetrical faces apparently look more healthy to people. Everything's at like a subconscious subliminal level. Don't forget that. So you might be thinking, oh, Simone, the things you're telling me right now, they aren't going to like change my entire appearance. It's not about changing your entire appearance. It's leveling up certain qualities about you to have an overall major change. So. If you just look more well presented and you look healthy, you look like you take care of yourself, you will automatically become more attractive versus someone that is naturally gifted with beauty that does not take care of themselves. Get a good skincare routine. I think that's very obvious. I'm going to do my skincare routine on my new blog channel. Look out for that. Yeah, I had acne throughout high school. It was very, very detrimental to my confidence. And because of that, I was less happy. I looked less happy. I look less attractive as well. Um, not to say people with acne are not attractive. It's just, you know, clear skin is more attractive to people, simply put. I have so many videos on acne in like 2020, 2021, because I did struggle with it in the past. So you guys can go watch that. Look after your hair, get regular cuts. I promise the more I get trims, the thicker my hair grows. And I'm going to get a haircut after this because my hair is just like, can you see, it's not like very, it's not good at the moment. It's not styling properly because I have not got a cut in so long because I've been traveling and it's dry. It, But the moment I get a cut, my hair is like gorgeous. So regular cuts, you can even do it yourself. Babe, get your scissors, 
I used to do that when I was like younger. <laughs> And then my hair grew out so thick. Have good posture. Posture makes such a world of difference. If someone's shocked, they look unconfident. They look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Especially in this age where we're always on our phone, on our computer, you need to focus on your posture. Sitting up straight, you look confident, you look more attractive. Do some fucking yoga, okay? Strengthen your shoulders. Go up against your wall, okay? Go like this and then do that. And you'll feel all your back muscles working so i recently got rid of my acrylics acrylics are so damaging to your nails but i always had really brittle nails so i was researching recently on how i can make my nails stronger what determines whether or not your nails will grow strong is your cuticles so you always want to put hand cream on and have nail oil you can use olive oil castor oil almond oil whatever that will help you grow really healthy and long nails and yes, my hands are very pale because I have incredibly poor blood circulation, which actually can lead to my next point. If you guys don't know the benefits of a sauna, you need to get a sauna. So I watched this TikTok recently. I'm going to insert it here. If you use sauna one day a week, your risk of dying of all things goes down like 30 to 40%. But interestingly, if you use sauna three times a week, your risk goes down another 30 or 40%. The more you do sauna, the better. Near infrared light does the same thing. Most of the light therapy devices we see are red, but red light doesn't penetrate bone tissue. It doesn't go more than a couple inches into the body. It's the near infrared that can go four or five inches deep. You're getting the best of light therapy because you're getting the deepest penetration. So the, the gut and the liver and the kidney and the brain, particularly the neural tree, only the near infrared light is accessing that. So then I went up and Googled infrared saunas I can buy because, you know, I can't have a bloody big wooden sauna in my house. And it turns out you can buy infrared sauna blankets and here are all the benefits. I got one recently and I've been using it four times a week and it helps me so much with my blood circulation and my skin glows afterwards and I have more energy. I have a discount code you can use in my bio as well. Not sponsored. I feel like this is really self-explanatory but exercise. I feel like exercise should actually be at the top because the fitter you are, the more attractive you look. Duh. Wear less makeup. You need to be tasteful in the makeup you're wearing. And trust me, my whole life, I've gone through so many different makeup stages and now I know what works with me. For example, now I just, the main part of my makeup routine, foundation, bronzer, lips, mascara, and then I brush my brows. That's what I do. When I was younger, I'd do a smoky eye every day. And I vividly remember my friends would be like, you need to stop wearing that much makeup. Like you look so much better with less on. Less is truly more. When you wear so much makeup, it honestly can make someone look really tacky as well. So learn what makeup complements your face and wear less. I promise your natural features look better than you think. This one's a little bit far-fetched, but learn another language because studies show that people who speak multiple languages are significantly more attractive. I mean, think about this. Whenever you see someone speaking in a foreign language, don't you think that they're hotter? Yeah. People are also more attractive when they're compassionate and they compliment people more. Studies have proven that. Be kind. Kinder people are more attractive. Let's go back to looking healthy in surgery, okay? Say you are overweight or you struggle with your weight. You can either go get filler because you think you'll look prettier with this filler or you can focus on losing weight. Which one will make the biggest difference in overall how people see you? It would be losing weight. Pick the greatest ROI that's going to affect your appearance. Again, go watch my Game of Life video. There's a part two if you didn't know about it. I wanted to end with this tip, but apparently the color red psychologically makes you more attractive. I've talked about this in one of my psychology videos, but yes, that's true. So when you go on a date, ladies, wear red or have red nails. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. New second channel videos, vlog channel soon. I'm leaving to Europe next week. Europe and New York for the rest of the year. So these videos are gonna be very, very exciting. And if you love my dress, you can get in the link below. Peace out.